Hello, this is Ute and <laughs> here we go. Ken <laughs> Welcome. from Ute's Herbal Corner. We still have to get used to it. And what are we doing today? What do you see? This is called white, <laughs> not white, <laughs> wild lettuce. So we want to show you just three things. Is it three, Ken? Yeah, the oil, yep. the cream and the tincture what you can do with white lettuce. The white lettuce is also known as opium lettuce. That doesn't mean that's opium, but this is more or less the nickname because the Latin, you say Latin? Yeah, the Latin name is Lactuca virosa, Lactuca virosa. And Lactuca, um, the real name is then Lactuca carium, is the white stuff. I hope you can catch this, the white stuff was coming out there. This is the, the good stuff you need when you um, work with the white lettuce. So it's the Latin name Lactuca virosa and the name is coming because the white stuff which is coming out of the steel or steel, Stengel? Yeah. Steel? <laughs> leaves? No, yeah. And leaves, stem. Leaves, the stems. Um, What's coming out here, the white stuff, is the Lactuca carium. So, what can white lettuce do? Yeah, white lettuce is kind of the same, not the same because there's no THC in it. Um, like, what is it called? CBD oil, CBD cream and everything. But here, whoopsie, my lavender. In our white lettuce, there is no THC in it. So, it has kind of the same effect. It's relaxing. The main thing, it's a painkiller. Um, it helps you with spasm. The cream can help you if you have outside some pain. Um, then you can go ahead and put the cream on it, which is here, the white lettuce cream. I have to put it here, white lettuce cream. But I'm not showing you how to make the cream. I guess in the meantime, you know how to make creams. Then we have the oil. If you don't like the oil, if you don't like um, the cream, you can use the oil, but it's always like a little bit slippery on your skin when you put it in. All right. May you wondering what's that? Yeah, that's lavender. I had harvest lavender. This is the dried white lettuce. May You can make, but I did not made it yet, a tea out of it. Can Do you think this will taste? I don't know. I've never I, tried wild lettuce. We should may try it. I think it's kind of bitter, but <laughs> if you may put some lavender and white lettuce in the tea together. May this is an idea. Maybe we should you, we should try it. Um, to white lettuce, you have to know you need to find out how much your body and how fast your body is reacting to white lettuce. If you take to less, then you said, you know, what is she talking about? There is nothing. I feel nothing. I still have the pain. If you take too much, may you fall to sleep because it's also for insomnia. So you, you have to find, you have to hear, to listen to your body, how much um, you can use with the reaction you want to have. Um, as I said, if you take too much and you fall to sleep and you want to drive somewhere, you're driving to high or whatever, and suddenly you, then you had too much white lettuce. <laughs> so the white lettuce leaves, as you can see, they are like twins to my beloved dandelion. But the different, and we have some picture when we had a bigger harvest, um, the older white lettuce plants, they have little, that's not a thorn, what is that, kind of a baby thorn. Um, these ones are very young, they are not even a year old, and you feel it when you go over it, but it's not so um, big, the thorn or whatever you call it, like it is in an older plant, maybe a year or two years old. And they can grow, so I don't know, five feet, six feet, seven feet, feet eight yeah. feet. So they are really, really big. What I want to show you now is we did with our harvest and Ken will put some pictures in it. We harvest already and I put the leaves and the stems stems into this tincture and it's with alcohol. So all the goodies are coming out. And this is, hmm, I would say eight weeks, six to eight weeks now on a dark spot. And now I want to show you how to open it. <laughs> yes, so you can see it's a. It, did you hear that? So, I want to show you how you get the 
tincture out of the infused leaves and stems. So what I'm doing, maybe I should put it on here. <laughs> you use um, some kind of, a, how are they, these called? Glass jars, whatever, and a normal thing from the kitchen. I mean, this is not my kitchen stuff. <laughs> this is what we have and what we only use for our herb kitchen here. So put a linen, a linen towel or however you call them. They are there, the big ones here. And you can cut them in the size you need. And then you can use it to stream, screen, stream the goodies out. So you see the green color. This is not just the leaves. This includes um, what I said, the white milky stuff. I have to sh make sure I'm not overloaded. Um, the white milky stuff, which is called Lactocarnium. See, and it's full. I need to transfer it so I have more space. Just transfer it in a different jar. But you need to... Oh my God, this is a mess here. You need to label it because you need to know what it is. And as I said, we are doing here tincture. I made a mess. Couple milliliter now on my board. But nothing we cannot fix. So we try the next one. Because I want to show you how you squeeze it out. There's so much stuff in it. Let me pull it out. I made a lot of this. So now you squeeze it. And I said it in another video in an older one. It's like a stress ball. So you get all the stuff out of the leaves and the stems. And this of course is not for your trash can. You can uh, put it into your compost. What we have outside and in the back and let me just take more and you just take the corners of your cloth squeeze and you see what's coming out here tons if you don't do that you're wasting so and this again is then for the compost um, let me just get off my cloths here so this is then the alcohol tincture which is then filled up in brown. If you make it on your own at home, always use dark um, bottles. This is then the two ounce size. And all of this will be filled up for me or for us in bigger bottles, but dark bottles as well. As I said, we have here the tincture, <laughs> <coughs> sorry, the tincture with alcohol. We have here the cream and the oil and this here is the oil. It's the same thing what you're doing right here with the alcohol. So you have the tincture. You do the same with the material, with the leaves and the stems and infuse it in olive oil. Yeah, you know us now. In olive oil, oopsie. And then you have the oil and out of the oil you can make the cream. But I will not do this here. You have enough videos you can follow up or search when I show you how to make a cream. Um, They're on our channel. Yeah, of course they are on, on our channel. We both like the name, not white lettuce. We like the Lactuca Virosa. It sounds so, yeah, so, what is it? Special. Nobody knows if you say ah, white lettuce or opium lettuce. But if you say, hey, I have a nice alternative medicine. I'm taking Lactuca Virosa. Then I will say, huh? What? What is that? Oh, Lactuca Virosa. So it's like my buckleweed we had. And we called it not buckleweed, we called the Latin name, which was ajuga. So it's, it's, maybe it's just us, but we like the, the name who sounds interesting. Oh, I'm taking buckleweed cream. Oh yeah, really? But if you say I have ajuga cream, how does it sound? Do you hear the difference? So <laughs> it's just us, but um, yeah, this is our wild lettuce. As I said, it's most of the time it's for pain. You can also use it when you have insomnia, that means when you cannot find your sleep or your rest. If you have, with the cream or the oil, if you have pain outside, it's also against spasma. So the product, wild lettuce, Lactuca Virosa, <laughs> has the same 
um, benefits for you and your body like CBD oil or cream or tincture, but no THC, not at all. So we have the same effect and it's legal and you don't, um, if suddenly your boss said, oh yeah, come drug testing and you take um, CBD and even if they say, oh, there's no THC, it's everything is legal and you go to the drug test and it's dirty, hmm, then it was more than 0 0.3, 0 0.3 THC because 0 0.3 is legal everything above is not legal here in Nebraska. I mean, I hope they will change it. But right now, if you need or if you want the same benefits, but you're afraid to have a dirty drug test, use white letters. Lactuca virosa. All right. Ken, I think we are. No, <laughs> he gave me this dirty look here <laughs> because it's medical. Yeah. You know what? I am your master herbalist. I'm not a doctor and I cannot and I will not give you any medical advice. We are sharing here in our videos um, how the product is made, how the experience are from the feedback from our customers or our feedback. I have to tell you, we did not use wild letters um, La Tuca Virosa yet because we are cool, right? <laughs> <laughs> we have no pain. If we have something like arthritis, we have our different oil, but we didn't use and we didn't have the need right now to use Lactuca Virosa. <laughs> and stay tuned. So we know from other videos, we are building a second greenhouse and I will put that up soon, step by step. It's not finished yet, but as a bonus, we will do the whole setup of the greenhouse and everything for you as it's built up and everything. And yes, I don't know if you've seen this back here, but our dryer is drying and drying from our harvests this year and we need it to air dry. So we have this enormous air drying bag. Was a We got more than one. <laughs> yeah, one is here, one is here and two are already still in the uh, in the basement we have to put out. But I cannot hang all the, the things here because it's enormous. You see, you need a ladder to get up there. So here I'm drying at the moment. All of the, the shelves are full with the German name is Pedale. The American name is Basil. No, pa Parcel. 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 Yeah, the green stuff. So <laughs> we are not using it for medicine. We dry it and we grind it because we need it in the kitchen for us. Here we have, and this I have to dry in the other enormous thing you cannot see. This is our pineapple uh, mint, tons of them. And this has to come over there. And this is then for cream, tinctures, teas. teas. Fantastic and, teas. Yeah, yum, yum. Hot and cold. So, uh, and here already some, but <laughs> I need it. This is basil. It's already dried and I will go ahead and, um, yeah, I need it for the kitchen or we need it for the kitchen because we love, 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 love basil. But we are thinking of making a basil tea. And tinctures. Um, I was researching a bit and there is the option and there is medical benefits out of basil. But uh, I have to look a little bit deeper and research because I, I don't want to make a tincture or a tea like a basil tea when I don't know how it tastes, first of all. That's why we said we didn't taste um, Lactuca Virosa tea. <laughs> um, but this is right now in the making and in the thinking and everything beside our greenhouse. Exactly. We... That's <laughs> coming in front now. Yeah. So, but we are totally excited and yeah, we will, you keep, we will keep you updated. Channel. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yes. And as usual, love and light to you all. <laughs> ciao, ciao. Bye-bye. Love and light. Ken and Ute from Ute's Herbal Corner. Ciao, ciao. ciao.